So as we see here, Lily gets one more than Nora, and that one more is worth 21. So Gabby, if you'd write 21 in all them boxes. Work out how many sweets Poppy gets. Yeah, so we need to find out how many sweets Poppy gets. So would that be 21 times three? Well, yeah, it won't be, why not? Oh, we're oh, so no, someone no, off no, camera, I think so I think about it now, so, think about so it. We put, so 21's in all of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so 21, 21 in all of them. Time, 21 times four is, yeah, yeah. what's 21 times four? 21 times four. 84, 84. So get the bus stop method going. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's 12, it's 12 times four. What's happening? This is funny. Get the bus stop method going. 84. Go on. So it goes in. So how many times does seven go into eight wow. once, and then you put a remainder 14, one, and then that goes in twice. Twice. Very well done. So Very that's well 12. done. Twelve. So each. So we know each part is worth twelve. Yep. So twelve times three is thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah, so that's, that's it. That's the answer. That's the answer. Oh, Fifty quid. <laughs> Belt <Belting>, mate. <laughs> Keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> infinite money. Glitch. Yeah, infinite money. Glitch. All right, guys. Uh, very well done. Thank you so much, Dan. Gracias. Thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you. And thank you so much, Gabby. Two n plus one minus n squared plus four n plus four. Okay, which um, plus two n plus two n plus three. Yeah. Okay, and then add these up together. It is two n plus three. Okay, then take away these now. Yeah. Then we, I think I have to do this. Yeah. I think. Okay. That's okay, so we had Elishba here, and towards the end, what basically the girls, right? They were super close. And Elishba came in and said, look, you've got to switch these two round. And, and she was totally right there. And if they would have done it and proved it, right, that would, have, that would have been correct. If n is a number, the number after it will be n plus 1. Right, does everyone agree with that? Yeah. So if n is an integer, the number that's after it will be n plus 1. So we have to prove that the difference between these two squares is equal to the sum of them. And that's exactly what your sister said. You, you have to do this minus that, yeah. right? Because if you look at the difference between three and two, you do the bigger number. Th the bigger, you do three minus two, which is one. So we have to do n plus one, all squared. Um, sorry, it's the bigger number first. Yeah, that's correct. So n plus one all squared minus n squared, right? And obviously, the sum of these is quite easy. It's just going to be 2n plus 1, right? So I'm just going to write this. It's going to be 2n plus 1. Okay, and uh, so, so that's that. Everyone's cool with that, right? Now, if we square these real quick, expanding this will give us n squared plus 2n plus 1 minus n squared, right? And then n squared minus n squared is just nothing. And you've got 2n plus 1, and that will equal to the sum of these, which is... 2n plus 1 uh, and there we go um, so here are 520 pounds uh, thank you so much thank for you participating so, so I found this family having a nice meal so we're gonna ask him some questions okay Mo are you ready for this yeah yeah sorry I forgot he had another mic uh, and I'm also I apologize to the family for disturbing their meal I just literally popped up. Poppy, the ratio of which they share it is seven to three. Nora to Lily is four to five. Given that Lily gets 21 more sweets than Nora, how many does Poppy get? I'm putting the ratios below each other. Gonna get these the same, so times by four, times by three. Okay, you're doing a method that I'm not familiar with, but keep going. I can see what he's tried to do, but Muhammad, do you know, I advise you one thing. Whenever you get these ratio questions, I always advise students to use the key stage two method. So given that Lily gets 21 more sweets, now then Nora, if you look at Nora and Lily's ratio, this much is extra, isn't it? Yeah. So this part must be worth? 
21. That part must be worth 21. So one part is 21. Well, so well, Puppy's got three, three 21s. Well, no, that's what, that's what, to, to be fun, to be to be honest here. Yeah, most students have thought that this ratio is separate. So if you find out how much Nora gets, which is 21 times four, yeah. right? Which is 84, right? We know she has 84 parts now. So sorry, she has 84 sweets. With Nora and Poppy, how many parts does she have? She got seven. Seven. So all you have to do? Seven times twenty-one. Eighty-four. Times seven. Eighty-four divide by seven. Because we're trying to find out how much each part is worth. Because all of this is worth. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. So eighty-four divided by seven is. Twelve. Twelve. Well done. So we know now that between them, each part is worth twelve. Yeah. So how much does Poppy get? Yeah, 36. 36, well done. And that's the answer. Thank you very much, Mohammed, for participating. Yeah. I appreciate it. Right, there's, there's a bit with the prize now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chef. And uh, let's, just, oh, let's just make it 50. Hold on. I've won. It's £49.50, yeah? Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. I really appreciate it, my brother. Jazakallah khair. Thank you. 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 Thank you.